Welcome back to HMS Today. I'm your host, Michael Hyman. Happy last day of March! Today, we are starting off with a middle school update brought to you by Mrs. Grady. Good morning, HMS. I have two sixth graders here who are Girl Scouts in a local cadet troop. And could you tell us about that edible, edible book festival? So pretty much, it's like a festival where um, you bring in like some, an edible creation that has to do with a book and um, you just we put it on display mm -hmm. and then um, people vote for it and whoever gets the most votes wins. Awesome. Can anybody enter, Jeff? Yes, anybody can enter. There is uh, three groups. Um, there is child, which is uh -huh. till eighth grade, teen slash adult, which is ninth grade and above, and family or group, which is a collaboration for more two or more people. Awesome. Could you tell me where and when this ha is happening? Um, this is going to be at St. John's, so um, 20 Church, Church, Church Street, mm -hmm. Hopkinton, on Friday, March 31st from 4 So you're talking about this Friday? Yes. Okay. So um, it's going to be held from 4 to 5 p.m. Okay. And what are the types of books that people have entered in the past? We've had people do, like, um, the Rainbow Fish, mm -hmm. and um, someone brought in, like, Snoz Cumbers from the BFG. Cool. And, um, like, the Ducklings. Mm -hmm. so this is a really exciting thing. I hope that everybody out there can come this Friday night and bring a cake or e just come and even view it. It sounds like a great time. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to that tonight. But first, let's spend a minute with Mr. Keogh. I teach science because it's constantly changing and I like changes. The reason why I became a teacher is because I like helping kids. My students have taught me not to take myself too seriously. I decided to teach in Hopkinton because everybody that I interviewed with seemed really nice. A memorable moment was Holly telling me to stop being grumpy because it was the holiday season, so I proceeded to stop being grumpy. I have a pet turtle named Rosie and one of my favorite hobbies is hitting the gym in the morning. My favorite TV shows are any Boston uh, sports, and I also like Law & Order. If I could add anything to the school, it would be a better heating system. Our next segment is another in our series, Hello, Hawkington Middle School. Thoughts from high school students to middle school students, you know. All right, middle school can be pretty clicky, so if you ever feel like you're part of a group that isn't so great, you can always join a sports team. I joined cross country. I joined student council. Uh, I joined a club uh, called Yearbook Club. And I joined Chorus, where I got to meet lots of people from different grades. All right, and now it is time to visit Mr. Walkway for another Fun Fact Friday. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that on this date in 1853, the painter Vincent van Gogh was born in Zerdet, Netherlands? Also on this date in history, in 1880, President Hayes opened up the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which houses one of Van Gogh's paintings, a self-portrait, Van Gogh in straw hat. That's it. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and enjoy your education. Cool. This week, we announced a brand new feature called Word of the Day. This was produced by Mr. Walker. It's only on our website, so check it out. Now, we have the question of the day. We ask today, what teacher inspires you? Mr. Carney has inspired me to dab. Miss Mason has inspired me to dance. Mrs. Daniel, because Mrs. Daniel was my mentor when I first became a member of the staff. Mr. Sidlucky, keep doing your job, man. All my um, team teachers, because um. You know, they've all inspired me in some way. Mrs. Connor inspired me just today because she really helped me out with a major issue I've been having. Thank you, Mrs. Connor. My first grade teacher from Natick because she always, like, taught me to do, like, things I love. Mrs. Frazier because she's good at math. Mrs. Economo! Sixth grade teacher that I had way back when, as Mr. Carney would say, in colonial days. Mr. Bourne, best sixth grade social studies teacher I've ever had. Mr. Carney, because he's really good at English and he's a really fun teacher. Miss Pinto. Mr. Keogh. Mrs. Genova. 
Mrs. Genova. <laughs> Miss Gifford, because she always makes me laugh, and sometimes she lets me get out of my shell. Mrs. Economo, because she's really nice, and she, like, cares about all her students. Mr. Carney, because, um... He's really helped me like through like um, all the, like the issues I've had through like um, writing and spelling and stuff. He's helped me a lot and he helped me uh, with the dab. Miss Mason because she taught me math. Mrs. Economo because she teaches social studies. Mr. Carney. Mr. Carney. Mr. Dodge. Mrs. Brooks. Miss Hurl. Miss Gifford. Mr. Parker. Mr. Hayes. Nice. Coming up next, it's time for the birthday squall. Happy birthday, and that's a wrap for this show. Check us out online at hcan.tv slash hmstv. And don't forget the new Mr. Lockwood segment. Also, you can email us at hmstv at hillers.org. And now we end our show with a more serious note. With the start of spring sports, our membership on HMSTV is don't is going down. So if you want to be a part of keeping HMS Today alive, send us an email and get involved. On behalf of everyone here, study hard.